Hi guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Brunette, and welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm pretty sure that these are becoming like my favorite videos to do just because I'm so excited to show you guys what I get in each month. I hope you guys are just as excited too to see like what I get every month. I've been doing this for about six months so this is like super exciting but let's talk about the plants that i got in the month of june and also just a little uh side note if you haven't seen my other plant haul videos i do have a 50 dollars monthly budget and it's kind of a fun game to see if amanda went over her budget for the month and how much did she spend so when i'm going through everything that i spend in a month i'll also put a price kind of down in the corner so you guys can see how much everything was and whether i hit my budget or not because <laughs> Again, surprise, I haven't added it all up. So we're gonna all find out together again for the second month in a row. I have no idea if I hit my budget or not. We're gonna find out. <laughs> but I also have a really exciting announcement to make. I opened an Etsy shop. I decided after a long time, I am a DIY queen. I constantly am crafting. I'm constantly like making stuff for my plants. And everybody has literally been like, Amanda, can you just sell this stuff? Like, why can't you make this and sell it? So here I am opening an Etsy shop. So, so far what I started my shop with is four different types of sun catchers and also a sun catcher plant hanger. So just really quick, I'll just kind of go over all of the um, sun catchers so you guys can check them out kind of like live. I'll link my Etsy shop below if you'd love to check that out and support me. Like that's just so amazing and I would love you guys forever. But if not, even just going onto my shop and just favoriting my shop and just giving me likes like I ask you guys every week. <laughs> Um, just another platform would be amazing if you guys could do that for me. I would love that so much. So let's real quick look at these sun catchers I have. So each one of these sun catchers are personally made by me. I make them with a lot of love and care. I literally put on like Parks and Rec or the office and I just like get to town and like start crafting. So this is the Soli. So this is um, my, one of my favorites just because it's just so like simple. It's just so beautiful. It's a 30 millimeter gem. These will cast the most beautiful rainbows on your walls ever. Like it is so pretty. It's just, it, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. This is the single hoop one gem kind of sun catcher. So that is the Soli. This next one is one of my biggest sellers on Etsy. I've sold more of these than, actually no, I've sold about the same amount of these as I did my plant hanger, but I've sold like a lot. Like I was honestly surprised when people were really buying this one, but you'll see why. This is the Gemini. So it's kind of like a fun little pun because it's two gems in one. I'll kind of come back so you can see it. This is such a beautiful like sun catcher. Like I just love this thing so much. So it's got two crystals on it, just like the Soli, but it's just doubled. So it has like doubled. It comes, and I also didn't mention, but it comes on these really like convenient hooks. Hook it onto your curtains. You can hook it onto a hook on your wall, a nail on your wall. This is gonna cast so many rainbows in your house, like because it's double. So I literally wake up and I see rainbows all over my house and I'm just like so excited. Like it's just so beautiful just to add something like that to your like house. So the next one I have is this one. So this is L Linaris. So this is kind of like a, they call it a Cheshire moon. Um, it's kind of like a moon on its side. I decided to take two a six inch hoop and a four inch hoop and kind of combine them together um, to make like this really pretty, like kind of like sideways moon shape, or I guess it's, I guess it's called a Cheshire moon. Um, but this is the Linares. Um, 
Again, just like the Soli, it does have one gem, but with two hoops instead of one. And it also comes on these chains. All these are about 23 to 25 inches long. I have all the specifications and all the like measurements and weight and everything on my Etsy shop. So you can kind of see like if it will fit your home. I also offer a mini version of the Linares. So this is the lunette. So this is like a tiny little like version of it. It's super cute, it's super compact. I will say though that this one will not give you as many rainbows. Um, I wanted to kind of market it for your car, but I'm kind of afraid that the metal might hit the car windshield and break. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. But um, it's it's good for like a really small place, maybe like your office desk or something like that that might get some light. But it comes with these two really beautiful like crystal gem beads. It does, like I said, it does cascade rainbows, but it won't like put rainbows all over your walls. You'll just see like a few kind of like sporadic kind of next to it. And the last thing that I have in my shop, which is also a really big bestseller, is this plant hanger. It does not come with the pot or the plant. Let me try to like rope it up, but it's this really beautiful kind of like macrame plant hanger that I made. And also I attached a sun catcher onto it. So um, it will, it hangs beautiful in a window and it just captures all of that sun. And yeah, it's just, it's so pretty like seeing it hang. Um, I know that in a few of my videos I have mentioned, I think there was like one in particular where you could see rainbows kind of going across my face. This was like a couple months ago. I'll link that video and you guys can kind of see. And I had comments of people saying like, where, what are those rainbows? Why do you have rainbows on your face? <laughs> and I was like, it's, you know, it's the sun catcher that I had. And I just thought like, I had that sun catcher plant hanger for so long and I'm just like, you know what? Let me just make more and sell them. Like, why not? Like people are asking about it. So yeah, so I decided to just open up an Etsy shop and just kind of sell stuff that I love making. Um, eventually I wanna have different kinds of plant hangers and different designs of sun catchers just because I love the sun catchers. It just adds a lot of like sparkle and just like rainbows into your plant room or anywhere, honestly. You could hang it anywhere in a sunny window. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I just wanted to let you guys know that I opened an Etsy shop and I'm really excited about that. And if you, again, if you guys wanna check that out, I would appreciate that so much. And also, please like this video at the end. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And yeah, so let's get into why we're actually here. And that is the plant haul. So let's talk about the plants that I got in the month of June. And again, for people who haven't seen any of my plant hauls, I do like to show you what plants I get as I get them. So the first plant that I got in the month of June is this Ripsalis. Paradoxa or the chain link cactus. It's got these beautiful, like, kind of spirally, like, chain like stems that kind of come out. It's kind of like a cactus, but it trails. So, like, match made in heaven for us because you know me, I love trailing plants. I have to collect them all. I have to collect all the trailing plants. So this Ripsalis had to be on the list. I got this plant from Etsy. I got it from a newer seller. I did um, have a little bit of issue when I first got it. As you can kind of see it's propagating. Um, so when I got it, it had, um, it came kind of like bare root, um, kind of cuttings, but they were rooted. Uh, the roots seemed fine, but the, the stems were black. So I think it was kind of suffering from some stem rot. Um, but what I didn't know, I don't really, I'm not familiar with stem rot. The roots seem fine. So I was like, oh, well it's not root rot, so it's fine. And I planted them all in this pot and then they all wound up getting the stem rot. So I had to cut it down. I had to cut pretty much all of that off and repropagate it. So right now it's propagating in some soil. So it's a little bit dry right now, but um, 
it's kind of propagating in some like moisture soil. Um, and yeah, this little guy, he's a fighter. Hopefully we'll get some roots out of him soon. Um, I did wind up uh, kind of cutting it, callusing it over, and then dipping it in some rooting powder. So hopefully by, you know, my July plant haul, we'll have some roots on this guy. It's under my grow lights. Um, I can't tell you much about watering because I don't really know. I just kind of maintain the like a moisture soil on it. I got him right at the get-go. <laughs> Actually, um, I had mentioned in my May plant haul that I had a plant already ordered. Well, this was the plant that was getting ordered. This plant was about $35. Um, as you guys saw, I put below earlier. Um, so this was $35 for, um, I bought two cuttings um, on Etsy. The seller was offering free shipping if you spent 35 or more. So, of course, I got two of them because why not fill it out? And yeah, so hopefully we'll get some roots on it soon and it will start growing really long and trailing. But for now, it's just so cute. It's so like so pretty with its like long like tendrils. And it's so like kind of like wild looking. I just love like the it's like deserty but also like really jungle and tropically, so love this plant so much. So the next plant that I got in the month of June is this, I think I'm pronouncing this right, it's a Trubii Moonlight. So this Trubii <laughs> is so pretty. I had mentioned in one of my videos, I can't even tell you which one it was, but I've been looking for this plant for a long time. Um, I was also like those psychos that would go to Walmart and try to snag one of these for like $13 and I never could and it was a waste of my time so I stopped. And I was like, one day it will come to me and I'll just, I'll find one at a good price and I'll buy it. I didn't want to buy one directly from Costa Farms just because they were $50 for the same plant that sells at Walmart. So I was like, I'm gonna just pass on that. I don't really need this that much, but we got it. I wound up getting this plant from an Etsy seller, um, which, I guess you guys are noticing a trend. Thankfully, I became an Etsy seller. I got this plant. It has already grown two leaves. So if you guys can see, it's already grown two leaves. And I'm happy to say I found another Etsy seller that I love um, because the other plant that I got is from the same seller. Um, I got it for $17 or $16.99. It is a little bit more than I wanted to spend on a plant, um, especially like a one stem versus like the entire pot. But honestly, like I am just so happy just to kind of like watch this grow. I have so many plants that I have bought like really small and now are huge. Like the Monstera Peru that you guys just saw in my last video, that plant was like a two leaf cutting, like in the winter. I think it was like, I think I got it around like November or December. This is before I did my plant hauls. And that plant was a two leaf cutting that I got for $40. And that plant is now like, I think it has like 10 or 11 leaves on it now. So it's just, growing like crazy and it's so like it's really rewarding to honestly like watch all these plants grow from a small little cutting like oh i got a one leaf i also got this pot for 7.99 at tj maxx i knew that this plant was coming in and i knew it was i have like six inch pots that are kind of left over but i don't have any smaller so i needed like a smaller pot and this actually might be a six inch pot I don't know, I think it's five, we'll say five. I need a smaller pot, so I got this from TJ Maxx for $7.99. So yeah, we have this Trubii Moonlight and it's going good so far. It sits on my desk, um, it gets some really good like southeast facing light. And yeah, I've only had this plant for about two weeks. So I don't really know a lot about it, um, but so far so good, <laughs> so. 
Well, yeah, we'll see. And the last plant that I got in the month of June is a plant that I got from the same Etsy seller as the Trubii Moonlight is this Philodendron Brandy or Philodendron Brandy, something that I can't say. For those of you who have seen my Etsy Gone Wrong video, um, I got some cream splash cuttings and they wound up being terrible. So I vowed that I would never buy cuttings ever again for the rest of my life. I'll do plant trades, but I won't, I won't buy cuttings. And um, here I am holding a cutting that I had purchased. Um, so yeah. I guess we were over that. This philodendron is a plant that has been on my wish list for a while. Um, it is a beautiful, like, it's gorgeous philodendron brandy. Three leaf. This leaf actually emerged when I, um, it was kind of like unfurling when I opened the package. So I was really excited about that. And we also have, you can barely see it. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but we have a new one kind of growing in there. Um, she cute. She's really cute. And I'm like really excited to like watch this plant grow as well because this plant is like gorgeous. Like I, I don't, I can't even, I can't even, and you know that I'm gonna make a trail. Like I've seen so many people have this plant on a moss pole. You know she's gonna trail because that's my thing, that's my jam, is trailing plants. So, yeah, this is my Philodendron Brandy. We have some really good roots that are growing on her so far. Um, so hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to kind of plant her. I do like to wait until the roots are about an inch long and then I douse it in rooting hormone and put it in some soil. So I think I found a new Etsy seller. I will link her on, in the description so you guys can check her out. She sells like cuttings and stuff like that and like even plants like that are at a good price. I know that my Trubii Moonlight was a little bit more expensive. Um, but you know, they're not super, super expensive. I'm sure you guys saw that I, cause I list this right from the start. I got this for $8. So I was really excited to get a wishlist plant cutting for $8. So, so we're happy about that. But yeah, that's my philodendron brandy. So those are the plants that I got in the month of June. So drum roll please. The grand total is that is what I spent in the month of June, which means that I spent $20 over my budget. Again, Amanda, oh, stop spending over your budget. So I, I mean, I promise you guys that one month we will stick to our budget. I promise like one month we will do it. I will be able to not go over my budget. Who knows? Who knows if I'll, you know, be able to stick to my budget or not, but um, let's, let's, let's aim for July. Let's say July is going to be the month that Amanda stays on her plant budget. Let's say, let's say that. Who thinks so? Comment below and let me know if you think that I'm going to fail or if I'm going to, I'm going to get it. Because if you look at my track record, I'm pretty, I'm pretty high odds that I'm going to fail again, <laughs> but I think I'll, I'll think I'll be able to do it. I think I'll be able to do it. But again, comment below and let me know if you think that I'm gonna stick to my plant budget or if I'm gonna go over again. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you guys like this kind of format of video. And yeah, so I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.